back up that's youtube and welcome back to my channel let us make the most amazing tea ever darling so a lot of you have been asking me for the recipe for my cocoa tea ever since i shared a sneak peek over on shorts and hair goes but you're gonna need your cocoa stick this one is from saint lucia i'm gonna use my custard powder which will act as the thickening agent um, evaporated milk some local bay leaf from saint lucia also gonna need some nutmeg and listen everything i'm using today is all local stuff I also have some star anise. I'm running low on it, but hey, I can always restock whenever I visit the Caribbean. Then I also have some cinnamon sticks. And don't forget your sugar, whatever you will be using to sweeten your cocoa tea. You go ahead and just wash all of the spices and add it to a pot of boiling water. also gonna be using the mace from the nutmeg as it adds a beautiful flavor to the cocoa tea as well and once you've peeled it off using the mace from two nutmegs we're also gonna wash that really well and then add it to the pot followed by our cocoa stick now for the cocoa stick usually add grated but ever since i saw this trick where you can just add it to the pot hole and it dissolves my life has never been the same so add it to the pot cover it up and let it boil on low for about 10 minutes after about 10 minutes or so it should be all melted in the meantime i'm gonna grate some fresh nutmeg as well and guys you know how amazing this smells right so so good set the nutmeg to one side once it's all grated and then we're gonna go ahead and add some custard to a cup add a little water mix it up well and then we're gonna add it in our cocoa tea Once it's all mixed in, I'm gonna go ahead and check on the cocoa tea. The cocoa has already been dissolved, which is amazing. And then we're gonna add our custard to thicken this up. You can use flour on water or you can use cornstarch, but I find that the custard gives it a nice flavor, hence the reason why I use it. But yes, darling, go ahead and let it boil for about five minutes or so. And then after about five minutes, this is where we're gonna go ahead and add in our milk, okay? I'm adding evaporated milk. You can add whole milk, skimmed milk, or whatever milk of your choice, really. I'm also gonna go ahead and sweeten it up, as well as adding the rest of my nutmeg and everything else in this, because basically it's almost ready. Once the sugar has been added, it's time for the mandatory taste test because cocoa tea can take so much sugar sometimes. Oh my goodness. After the milk and all the spices have been added, I let it boil until it's about to fall over. 
and then I go ahead and turn it off and then just let it go down again. Now this is how I know it's ready. Make sure if you're trying this, don't let it fall over, okay? Got to time it well before turning off that heat. Now that it's all done, as you can see, it's looking so good. This is an extra little step I like to take to keep this nice and creamy, okay? So we're going to go ahead and strain it off in a jug. And yes, my darlings, this is literally how we love to have ours. Now, my boys, they're British and they don't really know too much about St. Lucian culture, although their mommy cooks so much of this lovely St. Lucian food for them. But I find that with this cocoa tea, it was almost like an acquired taste. But then I noticed once I started straining it off and removing all the bits and leaves and everything, they tend to enjoy it a bit more. So just in case you want to introduce your children to probably cuisine that they may not be too sure of. Yeah, this is literally how I get my boys to enjoy the cocoa tea with no complaints. So once it's all strained and it's all creamy, I'm going to give the pot a good rinse and then pour it back into the pot. And this is it. You can serve it hot. Trust me, in the winter, the cocoa tea can just warm up your bones. It's so good. At this point, it's time to pour ourselves a nice cup of this yummy cocoa tea and oh my goodness, so good. Guys, it was so creamy, the texture, the taste, the flavor, everything was spot on, 100% spot on. So I really hope you enjoy this cocoa tea recipe. Try it soon, let me know if you like it. It's been a pleasure having you here. Don't forget to purchase my book, Bon Marche. I'll leave the link down below in the description box, but it's basically um, English recipes. Bon Marche translates to good food, and this is basically a taste of St. Lucian and Caribbean cuisine. It's amazing. Everything nice. Like, yeah, it's, it's wow. Pepper sauce, you name it, okay? So, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!